All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Final Fantasy walkthrough. This is episode two. Uh, we last left off at this save point here in the Narshi Mines, or the Mines of Narshi. What does it say? Narshi Mines. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's progress through the story. Here we're gonna get our uh, our first phoenix down in this chest here. Oh crap, it's rounded. Um, a funny story about this Phoenix Down that we're about to get. In the original version of the game, it was spelled F-E-N-I-X. I'm pretty sure that was fixed in the port over to PlayStation, but I don't know why that's always stuck with me. Of course, a phoenix down does us no good with a party of one, because if she dies, that's game over. Should be a tent here. Oh no, a sleeping bag. Whoops. <laughs> Something you got to use on a save point. Um, you can see there's a door kind of right here. It's blocked off, so we got to go this way. Like I said, the game does kind of guide you in a direction for the beginning. Make quick work of these guys. Oh, sweet. Gained a level. We'll progress here. And the guards have found us. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Get her. Uh, we fall through a hole. Man, she got to have some broken legs or something. <laughs> uh, you get a little bit of her backstory or kind of what was going on. Uh, Kefka, this is my sweet little magic user. With this slave crown, you'll be all mine. Oh, this is the guy that gave us the slave crown, or her the slave crown, the reason why she can't remember anything, or is being chased after as well. So remember, uh, at the beginning of the game, they were talking about uh, her burning 50 of their soldiers, and they're just kind of going through it right now. Burn them all too, Chris. <laughs> burn them, burn them. Directly next to Terra is another female. We actually get to meet her later on in the game. She uh, will become a party member. Anyway, soldiers of the Empire, we stand at dawn of a new age. The lost power of magic has returned to us. We are the chosen ones. And then they do some Hitler shit here. <laughs> the time has come for us to claim our rightful dominion over the world. Anyway, nothing shall stand in our way. Hurrah! Long live Emperor Jestal. Yeah, long live you, bud. So she's out. So. Come on. <laughs> now we get to meet our second member of our uh, little illustrious group here. He's one of my favorite characters. Probably my favorite character. So, took you long enough, busy with all the plundering and robbing, or robbing and plundering, I presume. <laughs> <coughs> a treasure hunter and trail-worn traveler searching the world over for relics of the past. Now, growing up, when I played this game, I looked at that name and I saw La Key. <laughs> you know, pronouncing the E. We all know it's just a lock, or at least we do now. But you're going to hear me refer to him as Laki, whether it's right or wrong. I don't give a damn. Uh, I prefer the term treasure hunting. <laughs> ha, semantic nonsense. There's a huge difference. Not really, Lock. Uh, anyway, is there something you need me to do? Uh, there is indeed. I met the girl. 
You don't mean. Oh, yes, he does. The city guard is pursuing her as we speak. The city has the strength to stand up to the empire, but they won't use it. The people are just too stubbornly independent to join an underground resistant group like the re Returners. I tried to explain that the Empire was controlling the girl, but they wouldn't even listen. Alright, so you want me to get her out of Narshi? That would be the idea, and make your way to Figaro for the time being. So they kind of tell you what where to go after you get out of the mines. Um... He fell through a different part of the hole, as you see, he was slightly to the left. Now here come a bunch of town guards. Or here comes a town guard. Now we've got her. It's funny, we're going to fight these guys. But yet we're trying to get Narshi to join the resistance. So, <laughs> like I said, this first part of the game's kind of, you know, takes a little bit to get into it, but... Let's see, Moogles, are you saying you want to help? Yeah, they are. Um, uh, use us to protect Terra from the guards, and then would you like an explanation? So you can go in here and, and yes, and they'll kind of talk to you about what's going to go on here. So you've got this little icon right here where you can switch between the different uh, members. It's best to take lock or Laki and his group and fight these guys um, this way he gets the experience because obviously he's going to be a, a party member more often than some of these other guys there is a guy in the group of these uh, Moogles let's see if we can find him real quick we've got Moglin, Magret, Magi Oh, dang it. Quit. We'll just let everybody attack and make quick work of these guys. Okay. There's Mog. Okay, so if we go into like equip, we can actually equip Mog. He's got a mithril shield and a mithril spear. You can take that stuff off. That mithril spear is actually uh, a little bit stronger than an item. It's going to be on another guy that we'll meet here in just a little bit. Well, that we'll meet in, in the kingdom of Figaro. And he uses spears as well. I shouldn't, I shouldn't attack with him. Let's, let's attack with him and then he can attack this guy. Oh, sh crap. So this group is kind of shot now. Like I said, it's just, it's good to try to attack with him as much as possible. Um, they give you all these guys to um, fight with. And the reason I like to use Lockheed's group is because, like I said, he'll gain the experience. Yeah, Mog will gain a little bit of experience here, but it doesn't doesn't really mean anything. Um, this little battle sequence here actually prepares you. There's later on in the game, you're gonna have a, a battle that's very similar to this, where you control some parties. And go around, and then uh, end game. There's a dungeon that actually requires you to have three separate parties, and they kind of all work in tandem. So everything that you pretty much do in these games prepares you for a later stage, which I really like. There's no like tutorial to go through; you just kind of learn as you go. Is that everybody? I think so. Alright, should be just this guard now. One last one. And it is a boss. Just stupid. 
So if you attack this guy back here, the guard leader, the Lobos are kind of annoying. But let's just let's just take him out. He'll call these Lobos back. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's why I typically just focus my attacks on him, but there's one of him instead of three. All right, he's dead. Thank you, Moogles. It's mighty nice of you. <laughs> like he said, we're in your debt. Um, once again, this is another little bit of a thing that's good to remember. They'll even tell you that. Here, let me just shut up and watch. This switch oughta. Boom. Eh, you back with us now? Why, yes I am. You saved me. Save your thanks for the Moogles. Ugh, I can't remember a thing. It's like my, my mind's trapped in a fog. You lost your memory. Yeah, they changed the dialogue there a little bit. Uh, a man said it would come back eventually. So you've got amnesia. Don't worry. I won't leave your side until your memory returns. I'm not going to give up and abandon someone just because they've lost their memory. I'll keep you safe. I promise. So now you can step out of the town or you can actually come over here and talk to this guy. This is a school for the beginning adventurer. Despite all of our recent advances in technology, the outside world remains full of monsters we know little about. Here we provide advice to travelers brave enough to face its many dangers. So you can come in here and these guys will talk about different things. That's a recovery spring. Um... Save points, monster in a box, which is nothing too bad, obviously. Um, each one of these guys will have, will talk about different things. I'm not going to go through it. I've already been through it a couple of times. Um, battle tactics. I'm just stepping in here to get, I think there's a, couple of items thought there was one on the bookshelf <coughs> gotta keep an eye out for that there are sometimes items stuck in bookcases and such and then uh, advanced battle tactics which don't really need yeah once again they tell you a little bit about some things <laughs> I already know. Get out of my way. God. You guys are annoying. Anyway, we got the tonic or the potion. Which I don't think there's tonics in this version. Could have sworn there was... Yeah, there we go. So sometimes there's hidden items in pots, bookshelves, stuff like that. Anyway, you guys can take your time and go through... Um that if you want if you if you decide to play this game one thing that i'm going to focus on in this playthrough is this guy right here this bestiary so i've got some um some monsters here in my other one or my other playthrough i'm like 96 percent on the bestiary and i missed out on some key guys right here at the very beginning of the game so of course before i head to the floating continent i'll get that all right, so we're out of Narshi. We are technically in the overworld now. If you look down here on the bottom um, right-hand side, where it says time and steps, um, there's a mini-map up here that you can expand a couple of times. The nice thing about this version of the game is it does have right there is a, a kind of a red square, and that tells you your next objective. 
So we're gonna we're gonna do some walking around. Um, am I gonna get in any fights? There we go. So there's a couple of different places here we can get into fights. <coughs> One is kind of this plains uh, overworld. Or, I'm sorry. <laughs> In the overworld, we can get in some some fights. One of the areas is like this little plains area here, and then this forest. If we get into a fight, I'll show you the backdrop is just slightly different. And uh, enemies are pretty much the same. I think there might be a slight chance that you fight a little bit different uh, enemies. And then of course here's the desert, which does have some different guys in it. We'll make quick work of. Stop it. Oh, maybe not. Oh crap. Stop. <clears throat> so now we've fought a couple of different guys here. We'll go back into the beast, uh, bestiary, bestiary, whatever. So like you can see, I fought this guy here. I fought, we fought these guys in the plains. So maybe here, number six, would be another guy that I can fight inside this desert. And that's... Most of the, dang it, most of the uh, guys you'll fight just wandering around. There are a couple of uh, monsters that I'll never be able to get again. They were inside this uh, certain area later, very later in the game that you don't get back to. <laughs> it's like a house collapses, and once that house collapses, obviously, there's no getting back into it. So... I'm pretty sure these little land rays or whatever, I can't remember what they're called. Crap, man. They are, uh... <coughs> I miss them on my other playthrough as well. I don't think she has the power to kill it. Nope. It's got like 5 HP left. Ooh, Terra learned some new magic. Gained a level. So that right there, that's South Figaro. Uh, if you guys have been watching my Minecraft videos, that that's the castle I built. <laughs> this is the castle that I actually built, and this is why I built a huge desert. Aha! Here we go. Sand Ray. That was easy. Um, I'm not going to focus or talk too much about um, this, but obviously we're going to try to get this <clears throat> There's some other guys we fought. Like, I missed this guy right here, this 106. And uh, I don't think I'll be able to get him possibly at what they call the Soul Shrine at the very end of the game. And then, of course, there's another. This is the boss. We've already fought ourselves a couple of them. Um, but I've never completed the, the best area, beast area, whatever. So... Anyway, guys, that, that's going to do it for this episode. We'll go through uh, the South Figaro deal here in a little, or uh, in the next episode. I did once again want to mention that if you guys haven't seen my Let's Play series on Minecraft, for whatever reason you're watching this, go check it out. I actually built that castle, and for those of you that do watch the Minecraft and are actually watching this, thanks <laughs> for the, the support and the views. 
and uh, now you get to kind of see where my castle's from. But anyway, that's going to do it, guys. We're going to save here and exit. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you next time.